Hey, what's up guys, Love Day here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be building... That. This is going to be an eight hour long video. Uh, I hope you sit through all of it. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, so we've got a new rig. Uh, it's the SimLab P1X. I'm going to be building it. Uh, don't worry, you're not going to watch the whole process. I'm going to pause it and talk to you about certain things that are important. But other than that, I'm just going to put it together. So yeah, we'll probably get a little more time. So yeah, it's uh, quarter past two. So uh, let's crack on. Should be done by tomorrow. <laughs> Only eagle-eyed viewers will notice. I didn't have a watch on before. Do 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 do. Right, so, Lord Google has blessed me with their instructions, um, and it's a very IKEA style blowout instruction, which is quite handy because I'm thick, so I need visuals. Um, <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's give this a go. Look you looking. later and we've got this <laughs> 50 minutes and we've got this yep yep cool yep Right, so everything so far has been pretty self-explanatory. Um, apart from this next step, which is basically getting the uh, mounting for the seat. Um, what you come, what it comes with is a, uh, a corner angle like this. Uh, I've got little guide rails on there. I don't know if you can... It's guide rails, like that. Hang on, let's get it in focus. There you go, guide rails like that. You see that? Got a guide rail there and there. And that basically guides it through the slots inside the, uh, the extrusion. What's happening is we're trying to mount one like that. So we're trying to mount one across like that, while the other one is actually in line like that. So these guys are getting in the way. Where to do that? Get rid of it. Just why literally get a screwdriver or anything you can. Get some leverage and they quite easily just break off. There you go. It doesn't really matter which way around you do it. You can get rid of the, this side or this side. Uh, you can just rotate it either way. So that's the only hiccup we've come up against so far. Right, we encountered another, prob another problem. Uh, not too bad this time. It's just a fleck of uh, material there that I've just had to scrape off. Um, not too difficult, just got a screwdriver which went, uh, but yeah, that's another one 
uh, and then a little bit of scratching there, which is going to be invisible anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But just another thing to point out, that has happened. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is I'm doing as best as I can, uh, trying to get these lined up so that these two are in line, because basically I'm putting obviously the steering wheel in here. Um, I'm using this rail here as like a guide as to where uh, where they are in line. So it makes it a lot easier to put the wheel in or the wheel um, mounts in without them being twisted. And then once it's all together, I could slide them back and adjust it how I want it. Um, but doing it this way means that I'm not gonna have to worry about having it like that. I can have it in straight properly. give a word of advice here. Don't do that alone. Holy shit. So it is currently 9.42. It's taken me seven hours. But it's done. Okay, so I love it. Um, <laughs> that's basically where I'm going to go with this. Uh, and I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds. Are you ready? Are you ready? So yeah, uh, finally built it. Uh, it took quite literally seven hours. Um, and if you're wondering whether the McLaren runs on there for the moment, I was testing the clearance between uh, the monitor and my hands, and it seems to be good. Um, I kind of don't want the monitor to be that close. Uh, I'm just having a little bit of issue with the adjustment uh, along here. I don't know if you can see it, just there. Having a little bit of adjustment issues there, and also adjustment issues um, just down here as well. Uh, so other than that, I would say it was a joy to put together, but I was doing it on my own, so it was fucking awful. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, it wasn't as bad as uh, I was half expecting it to be the worst thing in the world, but it was actually pretty decent. Um, and yeah, I managed to salvage some parts. So. So on the Simitec K2, it came with this mounting bracket as an extra. Uh, I managed to just put a couple of bolts through here, um, so three of them, uh, and mount it all on, and it all just kind of 
worked. There's a little bit of flex in this, um, but that's just because it's a thinner metal material. Other than that, it works perfectly fine. And that's the joy of uh, these aluminium profiles, is that you could, uh, you can do that. You can literally just chuck a few bolts in there and mount something. So this is basically it now. This is this is this is my rig. This is done. I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. This is it. It's, it's, I love it. <laughs> I do, I love it so much. I haven't actually set it up or used it at all yet. I've only plumbed in a couple of cables um, to get it easier for me to do when I actually start it up. But, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. I would say that it was most, it was about six, five or six hours of uh, actually putting it together and then maybe an hour or two of adjustment. I I was being a little cocky, I thought I could do it in like four hours and get it all done, but no, no, you can't do that. But the best part about this is obviously once it's built, that's it, it's built. You you don't have to touch it and it is, it's brilliant. Look at that. Single monitor mount, because I'm only using the single monitor as I'm using a space in the corner. Might expand that later, um, but yeah, you know. We'll figure it out. Like I said, at the moment, I'm, I'm rocking the uh, single ultra wide, which is pretty nice. Oh God, oh, I'm just dropping my phone. Um, but yeah, let's go plug it all in and actually make sure it works, because that'll be, that'd be a kick in the teeth if it didn't. All right, I'm gonna go plug it all in. Right, so here we are in the rig, finally. Uh, it's all set up, all ready to go. I'm ready to race and uh, yeah, it's great. Everything is set up exactly how I wanted it, um, which is perfect. Obviously, it's my rig, so why wouldn't it be how I want it? But yeah, it just feels it feels great. Um, I'll throw in some inserts of what it actually looks like in the corner that I have my rig set up in. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's really, really solid. I mean, the only thing that's causing a little bit of flex is uh, obviously my seat's a bit wonky. I don't know if I mentioned that in the video. The uh, the bracket's a bit bent, so kind of one end flips up a little bit higher. So it just kind of just does this. So when you bolt it down, it kind of does that and it's kind of flat, but there's still a little give in there. Uh, it's probably just the mounting brackets, either that or the uh, the side mounting holes inside the seat itself are, are pretty, pretty bought. Um, either way, it's mounted, it works, shifter, Handbrake, it's all there. Yeah, can't wait to get racing. Um, yeah, in the next video we'll give this a go um, and properly give it a drive. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. If you really like, subscribe and play with the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video, whenever that may be. I can't wait, I can't wait to give it a proper drive. I've literally jumped in for about 30 seconds just to get the FOV on the, on the screen correct. Um, well, correct enough. Uh, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's so sturdy. Uh, but yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some laps. All right. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.